example, you better be taking notes, because Startup Company Framework is here to show you how to make proper laptops. Yes, that's right, your judgement day is coming. Or at least that's what people have been saying online, because if you haven't heard already, these framework laptops have been kind of blowing up recently after they've gotten tons of coverage from some major tech news outlets out there. And honestly, on paper, they look pretty amazing. They're supposed to be these ultimate user replaceable laptops where every single little part can be replaced, upgraded, or reused in some other creative way. And with the whole right to repair thing still riding high, I mean, it sounds like a perfect time for this kind of laptop. Things like RAM, storage, and even individual I.O. ports can all be replaced or upgraded or customized to your liking. That all sounds pretty awesome, right? Everything just clicks into place wherever you need it, and every single part comes with a QR code for an online manual, which is just so clever, and I have no idea why other companies don't do this. And looking at the specs, I mean, this thing could easily serve you quite a while. Up to a quad core Core i7 mobile CPU, up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, and with a glorious 13.5 inch 15 22 56 by 1504 resolution screen and a 55 watt hour battery. I mean, that all just sounds amazing. Though, do keep in mind that they have no discrete graphics at all. Everything is handled by the integrated Intel Xe GPU. However, answering the question of if you should buy one isn't as straightforward as you may think. Because judging from the reaction of line, it's already guaranteed to do rather well in the enthusiast space because of the whole repairable nature of it. However, going beyond that, it's very hard to judge how well this laptop will perform. Normal people like you and I, we care less about making a statement and showing a theoretical middle finger to people like Apple, and instead we just care about the best value and performance per dollar. Because let's be honest, you probably don't care about having such a customizable laptop, you just care about having the most money left over in your pocket so you can spend it tipping girls on OnlyFans or something. And that is where a recommendation for a framework laptop starts to fall apart at least a bit. So let's have a look at the pricing exactly. It comes in three different tiers. A base model that costs $1,000 and comes with an i5 1135G7, a mere 8GB of memory and a mere 256 6GB of storage. Then there's a performance model for $400 more, which comes with an i7 1165G7, 16GB of RAM and 512GB of storage, or a professional laptop for a eye-watering $2,000, which comes with an i7 1185G7, 32GB of RAM and 1TB of NVMe storage, not to mention added support for Intel's V Pro technology as well. And if you try to look for other laptops with the same CPUs, well, we can find some pretty good value alternatives to these laptops already. For example, as an alternative to the professional tier laptop, you can get yourself something like an MSI Prestige 14 EVO, which costs $1,000 less for a laptop with the exact same CPU, and it even has the exact same screen size. However, keep in mind that it does have 16 gigs of RAM less and also half the storage. So for a more comparable alternative, you could always turn to something like an MSI Summit E15. That thing costs $400 less than the professional tier framework laptop, and comes with the exact same CPU again, the exact same 1TB NVMe. However, where this laptop completely destroys the framework is in the fact that at $400 less, it has a discrete graphics card with a GTX 1650 Ti, a 2-inch larger screen, and a 4 K resolution display, much higher than the 1504p of the framework. That all sounds pretty insane, with the only drawback being the memory, though thankfully the memory in the Summit is user replaceable, so you can always just grab 32 gigs of RAM instead, flip the old modules on eBay, and voila. And with the performance grade framework laptop with a step down Intel CPU, you can always go for something like an Asus VivoBook, which costs just $950 comes with the exact same CPU, it comes with twice as much storage, the exact same amount of memory, and a screen that's a whopping 17 inches. So definitely way bigger than that on the framework, though it does come with just a 1920 by 1080 resolution screen. So how competitive the laptop space is right now, there's clearly tons of amazing alternatives to the framework, and those are all just from a quick search on Newegg, and with us trying to CPU match. So if you try to look further than those CPUs into some other 
great alternatives in that kind of mobile space, I mean, you could probably find a laptop that fits your exact needs. So do keep in mind that you'll probably struggle to find a screen that's as high resolution as the one on a framework from other companies at this price point. So that's definitely one area where framework is undisputably on top. However, and I know I'm gonna get hate mail for saying this, a case can also be made for a MacBook Pro here. The Apple M1 SoC seems to be beating out all our Intel CPUs on offer from Framework. Not to mention the fact that the M1 is an 8 core CPU compared to just the 4 cores that our Framework laptops will have. And the M1 MacBook Pro, even with then charging some insane amounts for memory and storage upgrades, still comes out $100 cheaper than the professional model of the framework. And with it you get a slightly high resolution screen, the famous MacBook Pro touch bar, and of course also access to the whole Apple ecosystem if you're into it kind of thing. But, and this is a Kim Kardashian sized but here, the MacBook Pro only comes with a maximum of 16 gigs of RAM for some reason. So in that area it does lose out to the framework. So those are just a few examples of laptops that could very easily compete with the framework laptops. However, there's definitely quite a few areas where the framework simply just wins out. One of the main ones, again, being the display. It is super high resolution and you'd be hard pressed to find such a high resolution display at such a price point, even if the high resolution does make this laptop completely useless for gaming, given the fact that the integrated Intel Axie GPU simply won't be able to drive such a high resolution in pretty much any game. But another big area where framework wins is in the fact that, well, have you ever searched around for laptops and you thought that one particular laptop would be great but you just wish it had one specific feature that it doesn't have? For example, you wish it just had a bit more storage or wish it had a few more of a specific type of USB port? Well, that's where Framework with its customization options really comes in. Because when you buy this thing, you can also choose from a plethora of different expansion options to really customize it to your needs. So with these laptops, you definitely won't be running in to those I wish it just had that moments at least for the most part because if your I just wish it had moments come in a form of things like I just wish it had a dedicated GPU or I wish it just had a slightly higher resolution screen or a higher refresh rate screen then well sadly you're SOL because in those areas you can't really customize the framework at all at least for now the product is still very early on in its life cycle and given its customizable nature in the future hopefully we'll see some GPU options and hopefully more display options come in. So hopefully you can now see why this thing is more confusing to recommend than it seems at first because yes the thing they're doing with this laptop is amazing. There's some really genius engineering involved and we can all agree that having more repairable laptops is a good thing. However the value of it will be much harder to justify with there being so many other great laptops in the same price range. And that's not even adding on to the fact that the earliest shipments of these are in September. And with how fast the pre-orders are going, you may get yours even later than that. Which is kind of an issue seeing how we're getting very close to the releases of Intel's Order Lake and AMD's Zen 4 CPUs which have tons of great new features like DDR5 memory support or PCIe Gen 5 support. And when laptops with stuff like DDR5 memory are gonna start showing up, well you're definitely gonna start suffering from some FOMO if you decide to buy into this laptop right now. So the question of should you buy it? Well, that's got me one you're gonna have to answer yourself because again, it's just a super confusing matter. So let me know what you think of the framework laptops and if you're gonna be buying one yourself. Also, let me know if I should buy one myself so I can review it on this channel. <laughs> no, that's a good joke. As if I ever earn enough money from YouTube to be able to afford such an expensive laptop to make a video out of it. So if you wanna help correct this injustice so I can make reviews of this laptop and other awesome stuff like that, then I highly recommend you check out my Patreon, because even one dollar a month goes a long way in helping me afford stuff like this to review on the channel, so you have a better idea of if it's any good. So that's going to be down in the video description below, and again, I highly recommend you check it out, because otherwise, again, YouTube doesn't really pay a lot, so your support on Patreon actually makes videos like that feasible. I'd also love to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Meg Sumner, Black Drake, Shane Allcroft, and Lens B. Thank you guys so, so much and I hope to see more of you guys on the list in the future. Down there's also our Amazon Associates links if you want to pick up anything on Amazon. Plus down there's also our Discord server if you want to talk to me or us about this or whatever else really. Plus down there's our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. 
if you remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye. <laughs>